Yo, welcome back to more Mensa. It is your boy Mensa, man. We bike again with another reaction video, guys. Look, man, we got DJ Spoo talking. If you're in your 20s or 30s, I am in my 20s or 30. This video is for you. Dreams, vision, success, motivation, and persistence. Guys, this is what I need right now. It's 2024. This is what we all need. We need motivation. You know what I'm saying? We need we need these type of con this type of content. I thought about creating this type of content on my channel, like you know what I'm saying, just bringing some uplifting spiritual words and and videos and things like that. Let me know if you guys want that. I might bring that. But yeah, man, if you're in your 20s and 30s, I'm I'm more in the I'm in the 30s. I'm not in the 30s, but I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. But let's check this out. <laughs> Treat your job like it's your own business. Be entrepreneurial in your approach and your attitude towards your nine to five. Because that's what's going to become a stepping stone for the next hustle or for the next thing you're going to do. Job like it's your own. Treat Man, your just... job like it's your own business. Be Facts. entrepreneurial in your approach and your attitude towards your nine to five. Because that's what's going to become a stepping stone for the next hustle or for the next thing you're going to do. Facts. Probably the people that you're going to meet who are going to open up doors for you uh within that environment that you're in wherever you're working now whatever job you're doing it doesn't matter whatever you're doing so you have to excel at it whether you're cleaning toilets whether you're uh, in america they call them janitors right like as a city um our cleaners janitors. um whether you're a gardener whatever you are i think be so good at it that it even not only impresses the people that you work for but they must just be in awe that this person is different. When we give them a task, they execute it. When we give them timelines, they deliver before the timelines. When we ask them to do something, they don't complain, they don't answer with excuses. They will always They're find a way to They're get on it done. It. That's what opens doors for you to grow in life, guys. That's true, that's true. It doesn't true. matter what you do. As you look at a lot of us where we are, you think sometimes we were just born here. No, we were all in taxis at some point. We're in a train. We're in all those long queues. We used to have those shoes where we are schooling. It's winter. You don't even have um, money at home to buy brand new school shoes. You are taking three or four taxis just to go to an audition or a job interview. You don't even get some job interviews. We've been fired before. We failed before. I mean, I'm one of those people that failed his matric. I had to rewrite my matric. So. We've gone through a lot of hurdles. We've gone through a lot of rejection. We've gone through a lot of doors getting shut in our faces, us being told nonsense. You don't speak uh, English good enough. You don't look good enough. You're not tall enough. You're not um, educated enough. You're not whatever enough, you know? And we've just gone through all of this journey to face all of that rejection. And we've built our lives to be where we are today. So I always say to people, if you admire somebody else or you look at somebody, you're like, wow, I'd like to be like them. I'd like to drive the car that they're driving, etc." You they probably don't to want to point, actually though. be in their shoes because of what they've had to go through to get there. Every yeah. successful person, look at them straight in the eye. You'll always see right through their souls. You'll see what this person has been scarred, betrayed. This person has put in a lot of work to be here. This person have got stories for days, even before you speak to them because every successful person has got a story to tell. And not everybody that looks like they're successful really are successful. Other people may look the part, but they're still on, the, on a path to get there. They're using maybe credit to look good, to dress nice, to drive nice, a, a nice car, etc. And as much as it can be an argument to say, yeah, other things are just a liability, cars and, 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 and clothes, etc. but you must still look smart. And if you can, um, still drive a decent car, not like a luxurious or flamboyant or extravagant car, but still be decent, you know, mm. depending on the type of job or the type of hustle that you're in. You find that a car to you is, a, is not a liability, it's an asset because maybe it brings you clients. Because maybe when they see you pull up in that car, it makes them look at you in a certain way and it's easier for you to close deals, you know? So to each their own, and all of our situations are different. But to me, speaking to all of you young guys out there, you got a great future. You, Thank you, you, you don't understand. Like this life thing is so long. I used to think a 40 year old is old. Now I'm 44 years old, you know? I look at hey, older- I ain't gonna hold you. Like at my big age, I just feel, I felt like, bro, like, dang, like I'm, I'm entering my like 
like this is it man like i ain't got no kids i ain't got no no wife like what am i doing like if you would have told me 10 years ago 10 years ago whatever that i would be single with no kids not married like i would have been like yeah all right like i would have at least bro like and i look back like dang like i'm really not i really don't have those things but in in in, in reality like it's, it's it's a blessing for me as well cuz i don't have any responsibility so i can i could travel to south africa i could do things and take risks without having to have something i'm responsible for like a kid or something like that you know what i'm saying so it's very very um it's it's a blessing really it's a blessing you know definitely cuz like i could just go to south like i can just travel wherever i want you know what I mean? Without no type of responsibility. I have responsibility of myself, of course, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a blessing, bro. The people, blessing. I mean, in our parliament in South Africa. But back then, if you would have told me I had a, bro, I would have been like, yeah, all right. We've got 60 something, 70 something year old. You know, this life thing, guys, is long. But it is. So don't ever He's think right. of offing yourself, committing suicide, or thinking oh, it's it's the end of your life, the end of the of your world. Um, why is it not happening for you? Why is it happening for others? Bro, patience. When I tell y'all 2023 was the worst year of my life, I would continue to tell people, like, it It was the worst year of my life, but it was an opening year. Like, I learned so much in 2023 that I know, I know for a fact that 2024 is going to be one of the best years of my life because so much happened, bro, in just one year, bro. In one year, like, I went through everything you can imagine in one year. You know what I'm saying? Anything you can imagine, I, it happened to me in 2023. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went from feeling like I was on top of the world to just, like, rock bottom to, like, in the middle to heartbroken to this to that to everything, bro. Like, all within one year, bro. Like, going through that time set me up for the few. Like, I needed that. Like, I need. looking back, I'm like, that needed to happen to me, bro. That needed to happen to me. All, everything that happened to me happened for a reason. And it's it's a clear view now. Like, I see it. I see it. And when I tell you that 2023 was the worst, guys. Yo, it was the worst, bro. It was the worst. But 2024 has been, I'm not going to say it's been great. Because, like, I'm still, it's, I'm still building. But, like, I have a clear view of what I, you know what I'm saying? It's a clear view now. You know what I mean? It's a you will view. get there too. As long as you just have that vision in your mind and you put in the work, we are Zaham, I'm Dancer You email people, you go to interviews, you reach out to people, you network, you go out to those places, you look decent even though it's not expensive stuff, but you get Facts. yourself out there, you get your craft out there, you use your, your social media to get your craft out there. You know, so we all fail multiple times, but we fail forward. Right, because those are all lessons, bro. A hundred percent, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like 2023 was, was a hundred like lesson after lesson after lesson. Like once you fail, once you do things, you will not repeat those things. You will not. I promise you guys, once you fail, you will not repeat. Like it's not gonna happen, bro. Just think about the things that you failed on. You had, you didn't go back. You didn't do those things again. You didn't do those things. So like you need to fail to succeed, but you guys have to not fear. Of failing like if there's something that you want to do and you're scared to fail then you're not going to succeed you're not going to succeed because you're scared to fail you have to do it you have to try it you have to fail you have to you have to guys the most successful people fail they're not scared to fail i'm not scared to fail anymore like i was nervous to fail scared to fail i'm not scared to fail because now that i understand that failing has put me in the position that i am in today like i failed so many times that I'm not gonna fail anymore. Keep growing and never underestimate your humble beginnings. It doesn't matter where you are, a waiter, a waitress, a cleaner, a driver, a security guard, a petrol attendant. It doesn't matter wherever you are. No my no my You've got a bright future and I believe in you. It's because I look at this life thing now with myself and I'm like, yo, I remember like one has had to live almost 20 years of their lives in poverty. And every time when I say that, I feel even guilty because I know how hard my parents worked to make sure that I never go a night um, without eating or without a food on the table. And I shouldn't classify myself as one of the people that grew up in poverty, <laughs> you know? And, and I understand where they, would come, where they would be coming from because I never slept without any food on the table. You know, they, they made means for me to be able to, to become the person that I've become. They really, really worked hard. 
But at the same time, for me, when I reached success at an early age, I had success for about a decade or so. And then I made youthful mistakes as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they say money that I, I don't, but they say money changes you. But I say money really doesn't change you, but it amplifies the real you, who you really are. You'll experience a lot of us that make dumb and stupid mistakes when we've got money and when we think we're rich and we're actually not really rich, but um, new money. You know, I was new money as well and I was ushered in the spotlight at an early age and I made a lot of silly mistakes and, you know, I lost a lot of material things. And then I've had to then rebuild myself again for another decade, <laughs> you know, and build a business and grow mentally. And now I'm going through my own growth in my own spiritual journey. So this life thing is in phases. And then I look back at back in those days when I used to be in the taxis, when I had nothing. And then I also look back into that other chapter of my life of me being famous, blowing up, being everywhere. And then I look at the other chapter as well of me getting into business, starting my business for the first time, people doubting us, ridiculing us. People wouldn't take meetings with us. People would take meetings only to, t to turn us down or reject our product or tell us we're not gonna make it. You know, it's all been a journey and I'm only hardly 44 years old. So you've got a long life to live. So don't be too hard on yeah, yourself. Yeah, guys. Bill. That's one thing that, that's one thing that I would, um, that I would advise for the younger crowd. Definitely if you're in your younger 20s, just try everything, man. Go fail. Try everything. Like the, the thing is to fail now. You're young, go fail. It's, it's okay to fail. Like, I feel like if I could tell myself anything in my early 20s, to fail, like, just to keep failing. Not to, fa like, literally try to fail, but you get what I'm saying. Like, try things. Just just try everything until you get it right. Like, eventually, you're going to get it right. It's all that matters is that you're trying. You know what I'm saying? You're trying. People who try, people who try and, and, and are consistent at what they're doing and trying, they never fail. They Anybody that you see... Let's take this for example. Somebody who goes to the gym that are tr that is trying to lose weight and that is consistent, they're eventually going to lose weight. They're not going to be that same person for the rest of they're not not going to lose weight. Definitely if they're consistent and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're doing it every like well, not every well, you get what I'm saying. If they're just consistent with what they're doing and they're continue to do it, they're not going to fail anything that you can think of that somebody has are consistent and they're trying they have reached that goal, whatever it is. Like the world that operates that way. Once you're doing it and you're trying, it will be given to you. You know what I'm saying? It will be given to you. Look, man, hold on. Let's see what else we got to do. Have a vision for your future. Have that dream, but put in work daily for you to Facts. get to where you are going. Because I believe in you. The only thing I'd like to ask from you is please believe in yourself. Facts, man. Facts, man. Believe in yourself, man. Look, comment down below y'all thoughts. Shout out to DJ Spoo, man. This was definitely, definitely motivational. Um, but like I said, guys, go fail. Go try something. Whatever it is that y'all scared to do, go do it. Go do it, man. You only live once. And you know what I'm saying? It's either you, you, you're going to do it or you don't, you're going to fail or you're going to succeed. And when you fail, you'll learn from whatever you failed at and you can do better the next time. But look, man, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction, my commentary, if you did smash the like, social media, stay tuned. Yeah, peace.